I'm going to try as much as possible to make this very short. It is sad that um, at the end of the day I have to condescend to making this video because I know that uh, the person whom this matter concerns, this is what he wants. I'm talking about Yomifa B. This is what he wants. He just wants to. He just wants people to talk about him. You know, there are some people that take advantage of other people's agony to thrive. You know, they take advantage of other people's suffering to thrive. They pretend like they are trying to help people, whereas they are just um, using the agony of that person as leverage, you know, understand, to sell themselves. It is very unfortunate, Yomi, that um, you can descend this low. When I saw the whole thing about the Okoyabo movie and everything, I was utterly disgusted. But I thought you were going to... somehow apply some common sense and maybe make it very abstract i knew you were attacking yabo Uju. i knew that the target of that film was yabo Uju, but i thought you were going to be a bit sensible and creative about it um and not make it so direct but i was utterly shocked when i saw that he did not even make any attempt to even exercise any creative um i mean from what i saw it was it was the work of an inane, senseless person that claims to be a creative, that you are a disgrace to filmmakers, I swear to God. You are, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed that I know you, honestly. I've seen all these ones that you are ranting and everything, claiming to be a civil activist. I agree, actually agree at the point with some of the things you were saying about, you know, everybody having a right to be heard, which is true. You understand? And I thought we were going to leave it at that. But I am totally disgusted. Totally ashamed. To even claim that I know you with what you have. You are a disgrace to filmmakers all over the world. And not just because you decided to use this secret tool that we have. That we use in mending lives. This talent that God has given us to use in mending lives, in passing across messages that would heal lives and, and, and reshape society. You have decided to use that sacred tool so shamelessly to bring down another colleague. But see, guy, no be Yabo you did bring down, not yourself with the disgrace. Because this is not the Yabo part is even very small. Even though you call it Oko Yabo, you say your means Oko Yabo. I'm beginning to wonder where your me can be Oko Yabo. Let me not even talk about that. That one is there for everybody to see. Or Armojuni, Armojuni, because in Gimojuni or Soriko. <laughs> so let me not even. This is not in defense of the about So let me not even talk about that. Rather, this is about that young innocent girl. Ah, Yomi Omalojuti. If I didn't know that you had a child yourself, I would have said that you do not. If I even knowing that you, are, you do not deserve to be a father, I am sorry to say that you will take advantage of the plight of the young, helpless child. And I watched the clips of those movies. I mean, the, the movie I saw, I watched those clips. And you recreated the scene. Were you there? When, because it is, ah, you're me watching or alone. Because obviously you do not understand what you've just done. The reason most of us decided not to talk about this matter again is because it is in court. And I, I heard that there's a court directive after the last sitting that anybody should desist from talking about this or doing anything that will undermine the powers of the court in this case and which is exactly what you have done i am calling on the nigerian police i am calling on the nigerian police to call your me fabi to bring him to book because you are so brazen i am you know like seriously wait wait i don't understand you know that you think you can just do anything and get away with it. You are not literate enough to know that you have broken the law in so many ways with what you did. I'm happy that you have entrapped yourself. A case that is still in court and you did a movie, you recreated a scene of a case that is still in court. Were you there when it happened? So you are trying to subvert justice. In case you don't know, that's what you're trying to do. That is what you are trying to do. Didn't your lawyers advise you when they are aware of it? Didn't they, they see the script of this thing? No, so didn't they see the script? 
a case that is still in court, and you went and recreated the scene of a case that is still in court, how insensitive and brainless can you be? How insensitive and wicked can you be? How insensitive? Even if you be, you have your own personal beliefs that, okay, the girl was... Can you As in, do, do you not understand the implication of what you have done? You are trying to subvert justice, Mr. Yomi Fabi. <laughs> uh, and you have just ens ensnared yourself. I'm happy with what you did. I am happy with what you did. Because you have just ensnared yourself. You have just ensnared yourself. I'm not going to call on anybody and to call you to order anything. You do not need anybody to call you to order because you know what you were doing. Rather, I will blame people that will rush to you to, to go and steal because I know that's what you want. You like notoriety, you like attention. So you want people to at least, while the thing is still hot, hot, to at least let them go there and watch and maybe you make some small money and you, you know, do some cloud chasing, make some something to bring back your 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 fame or whatever but is it really worth it is it really worth it at the expense of a poor innocent 14 year old girl is it really worth it how do you sleep at night Yomi Fabi? how do you sleep? are you so blinded by your hatred for Yabo Uto that you that you sink to the extent of 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 revictimizing a young innocent girl and you now want to recreate a scene that you were not there when it happened and it is in court presently and there's a court order that nobody should do anything or say anything that will subvert or undermine the powers of the court and which is so i leave it to the courts to decide whether what you did is okay or not i leave it to the courts to decide but i am utterly disappointed at you and i am ashamed to be called your colleague. This is a dark day for filmmakers all over this country that somebody will use that secret tool of filmmaking to victimize a young innocent child. You think it is Yabo Ojo that you are victimizing. It is not Yabo Ojo. Yabo Ojo can take care of herself. Yabo Ojo can take care of herself. Are they told that you also, you know, play? They can take care of themselves. But the young innocent child. That is the person that you have victimized and you have used that sacred tool of filmmaking to attempt to destroy a young innocent life. Let us see if you will get away with it. And for those who are celebrating him, and especially for all the actors in that film, I am ashamed. Didn't you read the script? This is a crisis that is still going on in the industry that recently they still try to solve things you and you people accepted to go and act in that film knowing the implications of what you know it, as in didn't unfortunately i can't really say much because some people that are in the film as in there are people that i that i had have so much respect for so i don't even know what to say but honestly for everyone that took part in that film i'm ashamed the young upcoming ones i can't blame them too much because I don't know. They just want an opportunity to advance themselves. But the elderly ones that took part in that film, come on. Honestly. Honestly. This is film. It lasts for a lifetime. The films that are fathers, the Ogun days that they did, you understand, the Onyade Jobis. That they did. The films are still here today. They are dead and long gone, but the films are still here today. So that is how this film, Uncle Yapa, is going to be here. 50, 100 years from now, it's going to be there. You cannot erase the record. You've done it. The mistake has been made. Shagba Yin to Lenin here. Ah, Emma Bino, oh, don't be gone. Don't be It's unfortunate. 
all those elderly actors that took part in that film. It's very sad. I'm, I'm really ashamed, honestly. I am really, really ashamed. Really, really ashamed. It is very, very sad. Honestly, it is very, very sad. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm sure you all knew the implications of what you were doing when you were doing it. So I hope you are ready for the repercussions. Yes, I hope you are ready for the repercussions. So, and um, for all those that supported Yomi Fabi in this nonsense that he just did, remember that you are sharpening the teeth of um, a mad dog because he's biting your enemy right now. But remember that a mad dog will always be a mad dog. So don't complain when that mad dog turns to you with those same sharpened teeth that you helped him to sharpen or turns to your own person. Don't complain. We'll be here. Don't complain. Don't complain. Your Mifabi, you know, whatever a man sows, that is what he shall reap. You have sown. You have sown. I hope you are ready to reap. All the best.